Monday, International Bench Day, and we don't have anyone in the gym. It's a beautiful, beautiful sight. I don't care if the gym is full, to be honest, because that means people are trying to reach their goals, but it is very nice when no one else is in the gym. Look at that. Beautiful. How's it going, guys? It is Michael back with another workout video commentary. I hope everyone is having a great Monday. The bench was going up on a Monday here in this video. And if you watched my last video, you know that one of my goals this year is to really try to bring up my bench press. And it's a technical lift. And one of my mistakes is that I have been forgetting about that. I have to worry about my setup on my squat and my deadlift all the time. And I was thinking, why is my bench not going up with the rest? Because I haven't been focusing. I haven't been really trying to learn and focus on small things like putting my feet on the bench, which is what I did today. And then I've also been trying to bend the barbell with my hands while I'm actually benching and that has allowed me to stay more tight and here 225 and even 205 even though those are not impressive numbers they are good for me when you compare them to what I have been doing this is an increase which is what you want to do move forward with all of your lifts and that's what I'm going to try to do this year so a big focus this year is the bench press and here you guys can see a little 185 pound action I always feel so weak once I take the weight down from 225 to 185 pounds because everyone knows that bro moment you have in the gym when you finally can bench press two plates. And then when you go back down, you just feel like a failure on the bench. But these lower weight sets are really important to me because I can really fine tune my form and work on little things. And sometimes what I think people do is actually they jump to 225 too quickly and then they just kind of spin their wheels at 225 because they never work in the weight ranges of 185 to 225 pounds on the bench press. And you can't just jump up those 40 pounds. You have to slowly work your way up. You got to get up to 210, 215, 220, and then, only then, may you join the 225 pound club. So five sets there really happy with the way that those went and then we moved on over to the slight incline dumbbell bench and this is one of those gyms where they only have an incline bench that is a little bit too high for me i feel it way more in my shoulders so i don't know if you guys saw when i showed that clip i had something underneath the front of this incline bench and that of course lessens the incline and i feel like this is just the perfect angle for me to hit that upper portion of my chest i feel a really really nice contraction right there so that's just something you guys can try out if you only have a incline you feel it's a little too steep put something under the front of it lean it back a little bit as fat joe would say lean back classic song from the 2000s and moving along with the workout here i did a little bit of cable flies two sets of pec deck and look at the forearm action coming in on this shot i'll be honest i do not do any forearm exercises, but there are some on YouTube. I'm sure you can look them up and make some forearm gains. I just don't use straps on a couple exercises every pull day, and that usually works out fine for me. So this exercise right here, the kettlebell lateral raise. This is a great exercise. It is better than dumbbells, I'll be honest there. And I know kettlebells, they kind of get a bad rep with CrossFit and just swinging them around like little cannonballs, but they are awesome for lateral raises. It's just the way that the weight is positioned underneath your hands and you have a little handle, it makes a giant difference. Small things like that can add up in the gym. And of course, the rest of the video, you guys are gonna see some triceps, but quick update on the channel. What I'm gonna try to do is make my videos a little bit shorter in 2015. And you guys can feel free to give me some feedback down below in the comments because I feel like a lot of these YouTube videos are 15, 20 minutes long these days and I don't, like watching long videos. So instead of having a bunch of filler in my videos, I'm just gonna try to get straight to the point and get to the stuff that you guys wanna see. Like when I was looking up bench press tips, I didn't wanna watch 10 minutes of footage before I got to the bench press tip. So that is something I'm gonna try to incorporate into my videos from now on. I just like to see tips, lifting footage, hear what other people are thinking when they are lifting, and that's usually good enough for me. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, a little shorter one, like I said. Let me know what you guys think of that idea down below in the comments. And if you like the video, let's start out 2015 
with some support, you can leave a like down below. Greatly appreciated as always. Check out these two videos on the screen if you have not seen them. And I will talk to you next time.